Hey everybody, Coffee and Chaos here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. And this time, hopefully, you should not hear any duplication of any kind of audio. Everything should be mostly hammered in where it needs to be. And the only other thing I do want to change just slightly is our music volume here. So... Um, between episodes, I went back to listen to one of my recordings because I realized that my microphone uh, was receiving audio when I wasn't speaking. And because of that, your service. there was duplicated audio through both of my last two videos. And so I stepped away and went to dinner, uh, spent a good solid hour and a half kicking myself and frustrated that everything didn't work out perfectly the way I intended and then I came back and spent a lot of time trying abandoned. to figure out what went wrong and trying to fix the problem and oh my gosh what your city has grown more beautiful what is going on here woodlot you you have sickness, you have fire, what the... Alright, well, first things first, let's get some police in here. Second, I guess we'll get some fire. And third, I guess we need a hospital. Let's kind of cram that in where we can and we'll readjust buildings later, but that's quite unnecessary, guys. Very, very unnecessary. Um, but yeah, so I learned... I basically spent a good two, three hours learning the basics of EQ and audio mixing and uh, learning more than I ever realized I needed to know. <laughs> so, hopefully now, moving forward, you shouldn't have any issues. Obviously, if you hear anything wrong, I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments uh, what sounds a little loud, what's a little quiet, what can be improved. You know, just don't be a smartass about it. Don't tell Coffee to shut his microphone off. And we'll be fine. So, what do we want to do now? And we did... Oh, what's this here? Did those... Oh, I think those were the ones that uh, blew up because people were sick. I think we want to give our people a church because it'll make everybody here happy. At least all of the workers and artisans. An aviary is fine when it looks not over forest. We might need to give our people some more bread. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much more because we just don't have a whole lot of stuff to be spending here. Um, uh, so what do we want to do with this episode? I mean, last episode we unlocked the Arctic. I don't Black necessarily want to spend a ton of time here. We're not at a point where we can really exploit the Arctic. Like, we don't need the gold. We don't need... I mean, we do need the furs, but we just don't need it in the abundance that we can receive here. Which, speaking of, I think... Are safe again. Okay, that's good. Uh, speaking of, I think just to get to that point, we would still need to get all the way up to Explorers. <sighs> Getting to Explorers would be a worthy goal here, though. We can keep enough people warm here. Maybe we maybe we add a few homes. I should never have had enough of this idiot jerk. Watch your step. Alright, that works. Uh we can add one more there. You know what? We've got the space. Just do this. There we go. Two more homes. Okay, so they want pemmican. Well, that's all well and good, but that means that we need a whaling station. And they're cold. Oh, um, yeah, it helps if I actually give them heat. There you go. Great. It's going to be a long voyage. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. need to get them caribou. 
Now, the caribou hunting stations, they don't require... No, they require heat as well. Oh, damn it. That doesn't reach, does it? Hmm. Hey, but that makes it. Okay, cool. That's a start. Uh, we're gonna need a warehouse in here. Well, first things first, we need to actually add the warehouse. Let's get that there. I'm still trying to, like, <laughs> relax and calm down after all the hours of trying to figure out how to fix my audio. Um, I just feel the, the tension in my shoulders. Hopefully I can relax enough to actually enjoy some Anno here. Alright, everything should now go to the warehouse. Um, we just need a cookhouse. And it's one to one to one. Okay, cool. That's a good thing, I believe. Okay, that seems to work. So that'll get our people some pemmican. Like How much do they need? Oh, that's actually enough for even more explorers than we're currently supplying. Ooh, that's the limit. Um, we could add more homes in here, but then that's going to affect our lumberjack hut, which is a bit of a problem. Ceasefire has ended. But the charcoal kilns do not require heat. Right. Okay. It's all prepared. It's all prepared, he says. All right. Let's get... Do that. Um, I'm trying to think of like where we can supply some of these goods. Oh, that's considered the front. Let's see if we can add a road like so. go. Man, adding anything there is actually hurting. Um, add another one here. How far can you travel? Okay, you two can both travel to there. Alright, that is now providing everything we need for coal. Can add Could another heater here. Island? Where do you want to go? Um, no. I don't want you to have that island because I really don't have the islands I need to support myself. Well, what do I actually need? I have everything I need for alcohol, bread. So, I need fur and niter. What else do I need? Fur, niter. We have all the mining spots. Um... Am I, am I just being a jerk by not... Letting him settle there? Alright. Um, yeah, I've got... I could do that, that, that. Can do those, those, those. Not a problem there. Uh, yeah, hops is fine. Red peppers. Okay, one thing I cannot do, I cannot do red peppers. Uh... Is there a small island with red peppers? Hmm. 
doesn't seem to be that many islands that have red peppers at all, other than gentleness over here, which has been taken over by Benti. Uh, Heavenly Gate, no, no. Yeah, because these three are, like, main islands. So they only have potatoes and grain, and then they've got their oil. So maybe I just don't care about red peppers, because maybe I just go ahead and import them with the Docklands. Um, everything there can be made here, yeah. Technically, I don't even need to worry about hunting cabins, because I could always import that with the Docklands. Yeah. We've got everything we need for this. Got everything we need for this, save for Kauchuk, but that's New World. Huh. So, in theory, we could do everything we wanted just with Crown Falls, provided we have the Docklands to pull extra goods. Maybe that's something we do. Maybe we make a self-sufficient Crown Falls. That could actually be a lot of fun. Okay. That is a game plan. Um, I still partially want to grab... Yeah, I want to provide the furs for myself, so I want to grab this island. Um, what do I need for that? I've got plenty of wood. I need to provide myself... We're taking every care. All right. Can you hit a warehouse? Yes, you can. Uh, we need... Sales. Done. Okay. Sales on the way. Yeah, I'm going to step away. No, I really do need to take a moment and figure out what I want to work on. Because we it's... It's the first chance that I've had to sit back and go, okay, I have my choice of what to do. And I could jump around all ADD-like between all different islands doing all different things, but I feel like we need an individual project. So let's just take a look here for a second. I This is one of our old projects, was work clothes. So we knew we needed a lot of work clothes, and we activated all of that here. So we needed a grand total of 40, and here in Brownwell, we're making 34 tons. So we could expand that a little bit. But it wouldn't hurt if I made some work clothes in individual locations, which is what I'm kind of doing now. Hmm... So maybe that's not our project that we work on Ready right this moment. Challenge. What about sausages? Let's take a look at that. We are undersupplying sausage. We're also undersupplying schnapps. Oh, crap. You know, I wonder what it would look like if we oversupplied... Oh, that's kind of a fun idea. Since this has potatoes and grain, what if we oversupplied all those goods by about 10 tons per minute? So it's supplying all the goods that we need here locally, and then we oversupply roughly 10 tons of fish, 10 tons of schnapps, 10 tons of work clothes. Each of those islands could specialize to that extent. Has ended. Oh, that is kind of a fun idea. All right, let's try it. Rather than single islands that specialize, we could have multiple islands specializing. There we go. All right, well, let's look at how many potatoes we need. That's... We're actually there. We have enough potatoes for what we're trying to do here. Well, that was easy. Okay, then let's say we had work clothes here. Um, okay, so we're making eight tons of work clothes. So we have one, we need about four more of these. So one, two, three, four. Oh, 
looks like we got a few of those too. One. Two. Uh, man. I almost need to have a dedicated production area here. Ah, what about if I did it over here? That makes some sense. Ah, oh, we finally get to play with some fun Project logistical Island ideas. Is yet unclaimed. Let's get rid of you. Um, go for it. A competitor raised a settlement. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Put you over there. There we go. And I'm going to keep adding all of these onto the one side. And I would like to see if we can somehow specialize this a little bit with a trade union. Maybe we... Maybe if nothing else, we just make things cheaper. That could be kind of fun. Rather than building for, like, super, super high efficiency, we get items that make things cheaper. Um, so let's take a look at what kind of options we have for that. Uh, trade union items. Unknown. And works for framework knitters. Alright, show me what we got. Hey, right there. Maintenance cost drops by 50%. Uh, what do you do? Oh, you give me extra goods, so we have sales that can be made. That's kind of fun. Um, less workforce. That's actually kind of nice. That I like a lot. What do you do? So she gives me ponchos, you give me ponchos and bombins. Dealer and costume shop. Yeah, and you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to start getting... Wait, trait? Anthrop anthropologist? What? Huh, interesting. What about some of these general good items? Productivity and workforce needed. See, productivity, I don't think I need to go crazy on. But dropping workforce and dropping cost is actually kind of nice. Yeah, maintenance cost there. Yeah, that's actually kind of fun. And then if we get the better items, we get the better items. That's great. So yeah, I'm not going to stress so much about what I put in the trade union. So long as I kind of do something with the different areas that I'm setting up for production. Um, I think I will rotate these a little bit, though. So I kind of have my two side streets. And you affect everybody. Cool. And we can add trees and other stuff to that after the fact. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. Okay, cool. So, let's see here. Ah, oh, we need fish. Um, let's see. Where would I like to add that? I wish to spread harmony. An alliance? Sure. Then we are plum and bamboo together. Sure. Plum and bamboo. Sounds great. Um... I would like to plan. This is an area that I do plan on moving goods to the Arctic from. Let's see. Piers. Alright, let's just plan to have... Uh, some kind of peer system here. So let's just do that, I guess. Actually, I don't even need this. Instead, let's go to Harbor. Let's just go to our key. Can I move 
you over a tile. Yeah, and we'll let that go ahead and match up. See, that looks good. And we'll go ahead and match... Like so. Right there. Nice. Kind of separates things out a little bit. And if needed, we can always add depots here. Which is something I think I will do, because we do want to have depots the people gathering some goods. Your leadership. Taking things up to the Arctic and bringing them back. Alright, not bad, not bad. We can always move that around and kind of smooth things out a little bit, but for now, it does about what I want it to do. And let's just kind of smooth things out here. Oh, that works. So, taking a look here, now we need to add some fish. I'm going to bring these over. Copy that. That's about as far as she goes. Let's go ahead and get a warehouse in here. Build that. Alright, so we're making about seven tons extra here. A new commission? To be honest, I think that might be fine. I could duplicate that a little bit. Yeah, that's about it there. Let's move the cannon. Um, actually, let's move that further because we need a road back behind. That one can reach. This one can't. That makes it a little bit of a problem. Yeah, no matter how you slice it, that's just not going to work. So maybe we get rid of a few of these. Move this around. Maybe we get rid of this road here. Yeah, no matter how you slice it, this just doesn't seem to work very well. Ah, but that's getting there. And maybe we can delete that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that could be a lot worse. And we'll just run a road back behind. Yeah, that's just about as far as I can go. Okay, cool. So yeah, we've got a serious excess of fish, schnapps, and work clothes, and I'm not worried about wood because all of our wood's coming from one big island. Um, what else can we work on here? Well, we know that we could work on sausage, bread, and soap. So let's figure that out. Um, now, 10 tons of sausage might be a little excessive, but maybe we add like an extra five on top. So we know we need one ton. And this will be one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And 
three of those. Um, let's see here. I might need to get a little creative with my spacing here. All right, this is actually going to be kind of fun. Now, the soap, I don't think I'm going to fight with the soap here. Um, we already have that soap maker that is really going to be effective enough for all of our islands. So, in this case, that's an item I won't do. Beer is another item I don't think I'll do because I can make that more efficiently elsewhere. But... I feel like sausage and bread here is going to make a lot of sense. So, let's see. I'm trying to find some areas where it makes a lot of sense to have grain. I'm just going to add that there. Uh, let's just duplicate that. Ooh, a little short, a little short. So maybe rather than doing that... Oh, even if we add extra fields, that only gets us so far. That's alright. I'm going to go ahead and delete a small spot there. Um, what's considered the front? This is. Let's see if I can find like all the best locations here in this specific section. Because I want to have flour, flour everywhere. That takes up a few more slots. Oh, I can almost have that whole slot there. Um, okay, let's get you built. You know, something I just realized, I'm going to need more wool, too. I think I'm only going to need one more of these. Nice day for it. <laughs> Looks like I need more farmers. some farmers. Okay. Now. Move the microphone stand a little bit. Um. We need 16 tons. We're currently producing 13. Your people are starting to get sick. 4, 8, 12... Should end up making about 16 tons total. Mm, I could be wrong. Are you fully operational? You're fully operational. You're going. Ah! We're right there. And we actually need slightly less than what we're making. Yeah, we're good. All right. I did a thing. Um, let's see. Huh. 
How much bread do I need across all my islands? Six, eight tons. Okay. All right. I'll be making six flour. Am I doing the math right in my head? It's the boss. Yeah, I need six of those. You know, maybe I could actually mix some of these in with the town. That might be kind of fun. drop that down two tiles because clearly we need to have that gap in there uh, what if move that over one tile run a road up here run a road up there Okay. All right, let's move a few of these over. trying to think of how I could do this in a way that makes some sense. What if I grab these homes? Throw one in there. Add another home there. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're making progress. Um, you two. We lack the requisite materials. Oh, that really does go pretty far, doesn't it? Almost the whole damn town. Alright, maybe I don't care so much about these... Um, having, what do you call it, like a trade union. Ceasefire has ended. Maybe I just get them placed in the town. At various corners. Yeah, that's something. Let's get one, like... Yeah, I can kind of spread these out a little bit. Okay, um... I 
That might be a bit far, but maybe like here. Under attack. Can't quite reach unless we use some bricks. In which case, now it reaches the warehouse. Okay. So all of our bread production is now within the town. Ship under attack. It's kind of cool. Uh, Mr. Potatoes, where are you? And why are you under attack? These men know the art of dying. Yeah, yeah, you know the art of dying. That's fine. Uh, ceasefire? It's rare we leave any alive. Cool. Didn't even cost me anything. We will keep on doing that. Alright, so we got that figured out. What about... Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Well, going to bread, I think we need to figure this out. Um, so we have enough flour being made, but we need more grain to supply everybody. Oops, that's the wrong thing. So we're going to need about five more fields. Um, for now... These are going to have to be squeezed in damn near everywhere. Obviously, I don't want to get it too close to where the mine is. I don't think I need to bring it right up against the mountain either. I think I can leave that part out. Cut that out. Cut this out. Yeah, it leaves a little gap that I can add some trees. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so you... have enough fields now. How are we looking? We've got four tons. I need to fit three more fields in here. Part of me is thinking about finding a way to move things around here. You can reach all the way over there. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of all the trees. Get rid of the trees here. Get rid of trees here. Uh, we could fit you in there pretty easily. Now, I don't really care about the extra fields as much. It does look nice if we can make it happen. Uh, which I think we can there. I think we'll have a road go straight out there. Get rid of this. Move you in here. One, two, three. Alright, that's enough room for the extra fields here. If I'm trying to think how we can squeeze things in here. Ooh, there we go. That works. 
All of our sheep folds are now in. Get rid of those extra fields. Let's grab a grain farm here. That does it. Cool, we were able to fit that in. Um, let's see. Need two tons. Two more tons. What we really need is tractors, but we're just not there yet. I'm trying to be careful about filling this whole area in. Oh, <laughs> especially since I know I'm going to need some space here. this. Leave a tile gap because we plan on having our walls. Move you over here. Move these out of the Alright, let's get our walls put in here. Um, I need to go beautification, red harvest, Far does that stretch? You know, if I actually added brick roads and then continually upgraded this small warehouse, this could work out pretty well. It's not a very extreme amount of goods. There's fun to be found in everything, even quests. No, there's not. <laughs> okay. Alright, how do we sit now? Oh, we're doing great. So we have enough extra that we could still fill, I think, like two more silos. So we need to go to consumables, we need to go to sausages. And we need pig farms. Well, you've cultivated quite a thirst. Uh, we're going to move this over here. Uh, you guys are still in my way. There we go and every care. add a silo. People celebrate your leadership. And another silo. Well, we can still afford it. Always a good thing. Um, you know, a big part of me wants to take these. Let's slide that over there. Let's take you. Put you right about there. Move these into this area. Uh, yeah, we'll add like road there. Perfect. doing pig wise well first things 
We are a little low on farmers. Mm. Don't need that wood. Also don't need this road. Ceasefire has ended. Cool. Uh, now what I want to do is I'd rather have you over here. Stand to attention for the boss. That actually works. So all those are leading into this warehouse. Cool. Um, what else? What else? What else? It's time for some more farmers. It's also time for some more workers at some point. We are actually... We burned through all of the workers that we had. Um... Which sucks, because we really needed workers to build all this stuff. So I might have gone a little overboard with my overall intention. But I do still kind of want to do this, because I think it's going to be cool. Ship under attack. Really? Oh, I bet it's Sean. Yeah. You're right. We need... Almost fixed the farmer issue. Um, we just need to wait for our farmer ship to come in with wood. So, looking at Bracton now, you will no longer need to load fish from Kofia. You'll no longer need to load work clothes from Kofia. You will simply be moving fish, schnapps, and work clothes back to Kofia. Yeah, that's cool. And as far as worker goods go, you no longer need to load that. You no longer need to load that. So we're going to supply sausages and bread back to Kofia. Soap still needs to be a balancer. Beer needs to be a balancer. Cool. That makes it so easy. So now we have new ways of supplying Awaken small amounts of goods horizons. from a lot of different areas. Ah, there's our 50 tons of wood. That solves the farmer problem. And I think... Let's see, what do these cost? 100 a piece. We'll need like an extra... thousand workers here. Your people are rioting. Um, who's rioting and where? Really? Um, okay, well. Coffee says no. 
bad riders. Bad. Why work for so? Why are you upset? Tune, but it's a start. Is it really just because you don't have hibiscus tea? Really? And we also can't make our own ships here. All right, let's uh, let's figure a thing out here really quick. First off, all right, cool. You're able to drop that stuff off. Let's let's do a little bit of a trade route thing here. So we know that we need to trade. Oh gosh, we gotta find their food. Oh, it's. Oh, their basic needs are down here. Okay, so goat milk, binary, dried meat, and hibiscus tea. Right? Alright, this is shepherd... Goods. Done. And we're going to create a new group. The epidemic left buildings abandoned. Regametarara. Wait. Tarara. Yeah. Regametarara. Sure. <laughs> uh, this is Taborim. Oops. Dragon. Ah, rah, rah, rah. Cool. That's a fun one to say. Can I had a. Hey, I, I can actually add somebody there. We'll bring someone in from the old world. That's fine. Um, let's do the same thing elsewhere just to get these established. Oh, if this I. has ended. Oh, I don't even need to plug the goods in yet. Um, it'd be better if I do it. It's a little time-consuming, but I think it's worth it. Um, where's the hibiscus tea? It's so weird that they're not located in all, like, the same order that they should be. All right. And we're going to name you Tabarim 2 Lesilasa Lesilasa Cool New trade route And this one is going to be the same goods There's hibiscus tea, goat's milk, finery, dried meat, and hibiscus tea. Cool. New group. And this is Tabarim 2. Oh, hell no. Um... Nasa ma wed be yeah no screw that <laughs> we need a new name there uh Nemasa how about that we're gonna name it Namasa yeah um oh wait is this the one yeah Reem to ne. And I think I actually... Ah, yeah, I meant to actually put shepherd goods in there. Okay. Oh, how is shepherd spelled? I might be spelling that wrong. Let's double check that. That herd. Yeah, okay. My bad. Easy fix. Done. 
All right, that's those three, and we've got one island left. Let's create one more route. And this is Shepherd Woods. New group. Even if I could, I wouldn't give up this life. All I need is here, on this patch of wind-grown land. There we go. And what's this one called? Port Abilidi. Um. Oh, looks like Benti's moving in. Big time. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I can name that. Rename group. Haborim. Oh, crap. To Port Abilidi. Liti. Correct? Yeah, I even spelled it right. What do you know? Okay. So, that's four islands that are now... Or four trade routes that are set up. So, yeah, it looks like she's going all directions. I wonder where she's going to end up settling. We kind of took the best islands, to be honest. Um, wow, we're almost at an hour already. Gosh. I feel like I need, like, a dozen more hours just to get caught up. <laughs> I could Looking literally... Assignment. Don't take this as anything, but I could literally do daily uploads and just on our way. not even scratch the surface on this. All right. No reporting. We'll bring the lion's mane back to here. After everyone. Get some mud bricks and some wands of timber. It'll open up a new zone for us. So, are we making money here? No, we're not. If this is... I think the hibiscus tea. No, that's only worth two coins. So, do the elders pay us some money for anything? Not really. Not a lot. I'm kind of wondering if it's even possible to make a profit here. Well, how much more population can I fit based off of what I'm already making? Not much. I could fit a couple more huts before I need a little bit more finery. Yeah, we're right on the border. How may I help? Now we could add silos. Competitors have agreed a peace deal. They don't eat linseed. I think they eat tefgrass. Okay, they do eat tefgrass. So we've got a tef farm here. What if I were to add some more tep over this side? Ah, oh, we're already low on farmers. Shepherds, I should say. Oh, screw it. I'll go ahead and add some more fields to make that look nicer. And I'll do the same thing here just because I can. Although that has a limit, apparently. So we might need to add some more of these canals.
you can take all the credit for any finds I make here. You know what I might do? Whoops. Is give myself an extra slot. One, two, three, four. Ooh. A competitor raised a settlement. Let's plan on having like roads in between. One, two, three, four. Four. Yeah, that could be something. Uh, let's actually delete that tile. But man, that's going to be really tight to try and fit everything in. You know, what I might need to do instead is continue with the dual road, uh, dual road system. At least that way, I know for sure I can fit everything I need to. Now, the only problem with this is anything on the inside could get trapped. You know, what I almost need is to just have this loop. Yeah, I'm creating multiple channels where things can get stuck. Urgh. I don't have any clear answers. How much are we using? We're currently at 416 out of 750. We're making plenty of clay, we're making bricks, we're making progress as a whole. And we do have paved streets, so we can improve our range. But everything else is going to require that we go to other islands and start moving Hi. some goods. Ah, now, actually, let's start this now. We need to actually set our minimum stocks everywhere. I think that's going to be how we finish up the episode here. Um, actually, yeah, I'm not going to subject you guys to that. I'm, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do a little bit of thinking. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to set all of my minimum stocks on all of the islands here in Mbesa. And I'm going to do some deep thoughts about how we want to move forward. Because we've got so many islands we can check out. I mean, I could still build in the, the old world. I could do some building in the new world and try and get Artista stuff set up. Um, that might be an idea, is to keep working there. So it's almost like we could alternate from one episode to another and what zone we're actually going to build in. Ready for assignment. Mm. To be determined. Oh, and that's something else I could do is... I could use schooners to move all my construction goods. This area is simple because everything is wanzo wood and mud bricks. So schooners are all I'm going to need to move my construction goods. That's a simple thing to do. All right. So I might do a few like basic trade route things, kind of mess around with some ideas. Um, thanks so much for being here. 
I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you want to support the channel. It's the best way to help us grow. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.